China was part of the WTO negotiations, Doha negotiations, they were not successful, or they led to a small agreement, Bali, and it was the frustration with that that led the, the United States, but also Europe, to look for alternative negotiations. So the series of bilateral agreements like TTIP and with other countries. Now that we've got negotiations going with these other countries, I think you now see an interest on China's part to, to participate. So in a sense, it's more of a draw than a push. Well, TPP, I think, eventually will succeed. The question is really principally one of timing. Um, it's, uh, the President mentioned that um, uh, the TPP is a, uh, an agreement he would like to see done, but it, that he needs to have trade promotion authority um, in order to get it done. Um, unfortunately, the former Speaker, um, Pelosi, and, and others have raised concerns about whether um, the Democrats would support that. Um, I think ultimately it's going to require the President's personal commitment in order to see, see both the Trade Promotion Authority, the rules for getting trade agreements done, as well as eventual trade agreements through Congress. There are very few countries that make the transition from middle income to upper middle income. Um, countries such as Japan, Korea, um, have, Chile have made those sorts of changes. And those changes are changes which are, are, are more than just simply moving people from subsistence farming into cities and factories. It requires creating more open economies, um, more diverse economies, more services economies. And the sorts of reforms that um, the, the Xi Jinping has, has pushed for would seem to drive towards those sorts of reforms. It ultimately will be necessary if China is going to continue to grow.